Amy's pain Little people's Amy Roloff breaks down in tears in emotional new video as family remains divided over $4 million farm. Little people's Amy Roloff has broken down into tears in an emotional new video as the family remains divided over their $4 million farm. The TLC star opened up about her past trauma after a misunderstanding with her husband Chris Marek, 60. During the latest episode of Little People, Big World, fans watched as Amy, 60, and Chris deliberate on how they would plant the reality star's herb garden. After the TV personality's husband repeated the decided plan of action, Amy chirped that's why we're talking about this and having a visual. A frustrated Chris jokingly exclaimed, I thought it was clear. To which Amy quickly corrected, no, don't assume that. It wasn't clear to me. She continued, motioning toward the area where her garden will be planted, we're looking at this differently, and our words, and, comprehension is different. In an attempt to de-escalate the argument, Chris admitted, I know we're just apples and oranges sometimes. The reality star fired back, well just be patient. So what if I didn't get it? In a confessional, Chris stated, in my mind, I feel like I'm explaining it very well, very logically, and it makes sense. No argument needed and sometimes I get a little frustrated because Amy's not catching on. Back in the yard, the pair are shown sitting together and agreeing that a plan has been made. Amy lovingly stated, see we can still work together babe. Chris again puts his foot in his mouth when he responded, I just have to hammer it out. You can't think like that, hammering it out, Amy says. Chris then explained, that's a business term, it's an expression, adding, don't get so offended. Amy confessed, I am sensitive to that, you're right. She then disclosed. I think it has a lot to do with trying to be so careful about my image and how people look at me throughout my whole life. Because all it takes is one little thing and poof, you're dismissed. In her own confessional, Amy revealed there are moments when Chris may say something and it's innocent on his part but to me, it's like, what are you doing? I do have a tendency to be a little more sensitive because I still have that old adage from growing up, and, trying to fit in, trying to meet other people's expectations. Those elements, I know, definitely came into my marriage with Matt. There was a lot where I didn't feel as supported or encouraged and when you have that a little bit over time, it can deflate you. Later, Amy and her husband discussed the disagreement with Chris admitting, I think early on that I had to push Amy sometimes to talk about stuff. Amy quickly interjected as she explains, I think part of me struggled internally. I was also afraid that if I didn't say something right, he'd be walking out the door. The LPBW star is show breaking into tears as she revisits her hardships growing up, there are moments that go back to my childhood. I'm just glad he thinks I'm good enough. Chris then leans over and embraces his wife as he whispers, more to her than to the cameras, more than good enough. Fans have expressed that they think Amy looks happier with her current husband Chris Mark than she ever did with ex Matt, 61. Amy posted photos from her and her husband's date night to Instagram that were captioned, Date night with my handsome man. Hanging out in downtown Hillsboro Friday night bites and listening to CBD band. The first depicts the TV star smiling joyfully as she takes a selfie outside with the sunglasses wearing Chris. The next slide of the post is a recording of the aforementioned CBD band singing a folksy, bluegrass country music tune. The last photo shows Amy grinning at the camera as she prepares to dig into a giant cup of ice cream. Amy mentions the sugary treat in the post's caption, writing had to top the night off with ice cream. Fans rush to the comment section to show their support for Amy and her second husband. One fan wrote, Never seen you so happy Amy. I knew Chris was a good choice for you. A second person commented, it's so nice to see you happy with Chris and enjoying life. Another followed added, you look happy and amazing. While other fans continued to share a similar sentiment, writing may I say, 
You look so much happier these days and I just love you two together. In last season's finale, Amy furiously confronted Matt and accused him of creating a nasty feud over the sale of the family farm. Matt put 16 acres of roll-off farms for sale for a whopping $4 million on May 12. The TV personality blamed her ex-husband for creating a hornet's nest with his decision. Matt defended himself by saying there's 93 acres in this family. Though Amy quickly interjected, stating no. There's 93 acres for Matt Roloff. In a confessional, the family matriarch explains that she doesn't see any type of ownership on Matt's part. Matt revealed that he feels his sons, Zach and Jeremy, both 32, have an air of entitlement. Again Amy fired back. You keep buying them ATV bikes every time they turn around, don't blame it on me. Matt challenged his ex-wife, first admitting that he's talked a lot about his mistakes and then asking Amy, have you talked about your mistakes? The U.S. Sun exclusively revealed that the portion of Roloff Farms up for sale once belonged to Amy. Amy sold 32.28 acres of land for $975,000 on August 13, 2020. Matt took out a loan in the amount of $825,000 for the property exchange. Matt put 16 of Amy's 32.28 acres on the market after making renovations to the main home and adding more features.